I'm Matthew Berryman, I'm the IT architect here at SMART. So for the Peter Jakarta flood mapping project, we've been working on these prototype uh, flood level sensing devices. Um, so what we have here is a Raspberry Pi 3, which is just a very, very tiny little computer. Um, then that can uh, is connected to this circuit here, which is then connected into this ultrasound sensor at the top. Um, what that does is it sends a pulse of ultrasound down and it times how long it takes to come back and from that you can therefore calculate the depth of water. Uh, and we've already written some software for doing that calculation, measuring it um, and transmitting that information into a database um, stored in the cloud um, and I'll just demonstrate that now. So I'll start the software running and it starts by connecting to our database on the cloud and it's publishing some data to that, it's reading about zero centimetres as the depth and I will add some water in. And you can see it now reads about 2.6 um, centimetres as depth. And then I'll add some more water in. doing some new readings and it's about 4.1 uh, centimetres in depth now. And if I stop that, I can then go and look in the cloud and view my database and it's put some data in there. And I can view the data there and down the track the intent is to put that as another source of data in the Peter Jakarta map where we've got some of the human reported flood data and we're going to put in some of this automatic flood sensor reported data as well into this map so citizens can get a better picture of the flooding that's going on in Jakarta.